right, welcome back. Today we are going to be working on a vinyasa flow, focusing on a detox flow. So it means lots of twists for today's practice. Let's grab one block just in case you need it. If not, no worries, we can reach for the floor instead. And let's make our way to the top of the mat in mountain pose. Once you arrive in mountain pose, toes together, heels slightly apart, palms face forward. With your next inhale, let's sweep those arms up, gaze up to the ceiling. On your exhale, dive forward, Uttanasana, bend the knees as much as you need to. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins. On your exhale, fold, plant the palms, step or hop back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra, nice back bend. On your exhale, lift up and back, down or facing dog. Right away, right leg lifts, inhale. On your exhale, knee to nose, step that right foot forward and through, and meet me in high lunge, so back heel is lifted, arms are going to sweep on up. For a bit more stability here, you can take a soft bend in that back knee. Inhale, we reach the fingers, exhale, twist to left hand forward. Good, inhale back through center, and exhale, right hand forward, so we're just twisting from the torso here, try to keep your hips neutral. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, left hand forward. Now you're welcome to stay, or we reverse this. Right hand to the back leg, left fingers up and over, coming into a twist with a back bend. Keep the core strong for three, two, one. Come back to your twist. On your exhale, lean forward, left hand down, right fingers reach up, twisted high lunge, again holding for three. Press the mat away, two, one, drop that right hand down, step right foot back to meet the left. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, up and back, down or facing dog, on top of toes. Nice full breath in, cleansing breath out. One more, inhale. Exhale, let it go. With your next inhale, left leg lifts, three leg. On your exhale, knee to nose, round the back. Step that left foot forward and through now. Soft bend in the back knee, sweep the arms up, take this to high lunge. With your next exhale, let's twist right hand forward and left hand back. Inhale, take it back up. Exhale, twist the left hand forward, but keep the hips facing forward. Inhale, lift it back up. On your exhale, twist right hand forward and hold. If you're going further with the back bend, drop your hand to the back leg or right fingers reach up and over. Sink deeper into that front knee. We hold three, two, one. Inhale, come back to your twist. Lengthen your right leg. From here, drop that right hand down. Left fingers reach on up for a twisted lunge. We hold three, two, one, drop your left hand down, step left foot back to meet the right. Exhale, shutter up. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, up and back, downward facing dog on top of toes. Full breath in, cleansing breath out. One more. Exhale, let it go. Bend the knees, gaze forward, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale for a halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, root to rise, come all the way up to stand. On your exhale, hands down, and hands by your side. All right, from here, let's set up one block at the top of the mat, just in case we need it for our next flow. We'll take it on height level three and pop it right in the middle. Once you have that set up, we're going to take a soft bend into the knees here and bring the hands into prayer. All we're going to do is shift our weight in towards our left foot. Bring your right knee up towards the chest, so we're balancing on one foot. Now, if this is enough for you, you are welcome to stay exactly as you are. If you would like to add a twist today, left hand outside of the right knee, and then the right fingers are going to reach all the way back. For those of you that still would like to add on, we'll go for the leg extension. So reaching for the outer edge of that right foot and then kick that right leg forward and the amount here. We hold three breaths. And wherever you are, whether you're in the twist 
the bent leg variation or extended. We're going to stay facing that right side. Release your left hand forward and then swing that right leg all the way back. So you're just taking a nice big step. From here, if you do need your block for a triangle, you can always take that block inside of the left foot. If not, we'll just start to lean forward. So leaning as much as you can, drop that left hand down inside the shin or to the block. The right fingers reach on up for Trikonasana. Continue to send your left hip back. Trying to stack right over left. And inhale, make your way back upright. On your exhale, reverse right hand back, left, left fingers overhead. Inhale, take it back up. On your exhale, hands to the hips, soften in that left knee. Take a tiny step in with this right foot, pop it in. Both hips are facing forward. And then from here, we're going to reach our right hand forward, keeping that block inside the foot if it's there. If it's not, you can place it there now. We're going to reach our right hand forward actively, lift the chest, lift the chin. Exhale, start to lean halfway forward. From here, you're dropping your hand to the block. If you have one, if not, you can drop it to the floor or your shin. Left hand is going to come on to your lower back. Fingers point to the tailbone. With an inhale, you lengthen the torso. With your exhale, we're going to twist the torso to the left side of the room. Pull the belly in. If you're going through the full extension here of a revolved triangle, lengthen that left arm all the way up to the ceiling. We hold three, two, on one, we're all going to bend our left knee, slide your right hand or block forward, shift the weight into right hand, left foot, and see if you can float that right leg up for revolved half moon. We hold for three, pull the belly in, two, on one, meet me in a forward fold, bend both knees, drop right foot, left hand, and let's grab opposite elbows, and gently sway side to side. And releasing the grip of your arms, deepen into the knees. Let's roll up to standing for a count of five. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, hands down through the midline. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. This next one's going to take us into our flow. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, hands down. Let's pause there. Again, soft bend into the knees. This time we're going to shift our weight towards our right foot. Left knee is going to lift towards your chest. Option one, you hold right here. Option two, you add the twist. Right hand outside of left knee. And then left fingers reach back towards the back of your mat. Last option, if you are going further, slide your right hand down the outer edge of that left foot. Maybe kick the heel forward any amount, whether the leg is extended or bent, does not matter. Find a variation you're able to maintain. Eventually we work towards that straight leg, but if you're not there yet, it's okay. Let's hold for three, two, one. Now whichever variation you're in, let's just let go of the leg, reach your right fingers forward, and swing that left leg all the way back behind you, take a nice big step. So we're setting up for triangle. If you do need the block, you can place it in front or inside of your right foot. Reach the hands on out, inhale, exhale, lean forward. Once you can't go any further, right hand down to the block or floor, left fingers reach on up. So think of a nice long line from your left fingers all the way down to your right. We hold three, two, on one, power down through the feet, lift back up, engage the core. On your exhale, reverse, left hand back leg or right fingers up and overhead. Inhale, take it back through center. And then on your exhale, hands to the hips, soften into that right knee. Take a tiny step forward with the left foot, square the hips off towards the front of the mat. So you want your right toes forward, left toes slightly off to the left side. Grab your block here if it's not already by the foot, and replacing it inside of your right foot. Left fingers are going to reach on forward, inhale. Exhale, start to lean forward, hinging from the hips. Left hand is going to place down onto the block, floor or even your shin if you're not using a block today. Right hand comes to right low back, fingers are pointing to the tailbone. Inhale, we lengthen the torso. Exhale, twist towards the right side of your mat. 
If you're going for the full variation, that right arm is going to extend up, opening the chest. Hold it here for three, two, on one, we're going to bend into that right knee and slide your hand or block further forward. Shift the weight into right foot, left hand, and then you're floating your left leg up. We revolve half moon. Again, we hold three, two, on one, meet me in a forward fold, bend the knees, right hand drops, and then from here, grabbing opposite elbows, and again, gently sway side to side. Releasing the grip of your hands. Inhale for a halfway lift. If your block is in the way, you can move it off to the side. Exhale, we fold. Plant the palms, step or hop back. Chatter in. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, up and back. Downward facing dog, untuck the toes. From here to bend the knees and then hop or step through to seated. So coming to a cross legged position and lengthening the legs out in front of you. And once you make your way into staff pose, we're going to flex the feet on back, remove the flesh from underneath your sit bones, you're actually sitting on the bone and not the muscle. If hamstrings are still super tight, take a soft bend in your knees here. With an inhale, we're going to lift our arms up. On your exhale, we're going to fold forward, hands can release down. And again, think of hinging from the hips, you're keeping a nice tall torso here. We're not rounding, trying to reach the feet. I would rather you lift on up and lengthen up the spine instead of rounding. We hold three deep breaths. Feel free to close the eyes. And just ease your way further forward with every exhale. And with your next inhale, let's slowly make our way back upright. On your exhale, let's cross the legs, bringing the palms into prayer, cleansing breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Once more, breathing in peace, releasing contentment. Thank you for joining today's video. Hope to see you for the next one. Namaste.